Glycolysis provides the products cellular respiration uses to make many ATP molecules. The process of glycolysis takes place in the cytoplasm and does not require oxygen. Glycolysis splits glucose into two three-carbon molecules, pyruvate, and produces a net gain of two molecules of ATP. The first stage of cellular respiration in the mitochondria is the Krebs cycle. Pyruvate molecules from glycolysis enter the matrix of a mitochondrion. Each pyruvate molecule is broken down into a two-carbon molecule. An energy-carrying molecule, NADH, is made for later use and carbon dioxide is released as waste. Coenzyme A bonds to the two-carbon molecule. This intermediate molecule enters the Krebs cycle. The two-carbon portion of the intermediate molecule is added to a four-carbon molecule. A six-carbon molecule called citric acid is formed. Coenzyme A is released. Citric acid is broken down. NADH is made for later use, and carbon dioxide is released as waste. The five-carbon molecule is broken down. NADH and ATP are made for later use, and carbon dioxide is released as waste. The four-carbon molecule is rearranged. NADH and FADH2, another energy-carrying molecule, are made for later use. The cycle then continues, reducing energy-carrying molecules and carbon dioxide waste. chain is the second stage of cellular respiration in the mitochondria. Electrons are removed from NADH and FADH2 and enter the proteins of the electron transport chain. Hydrogen ions are transported across the inner membrane. Hydrogen ions diffuse through a protein channel. ADP is changed into ATP when hydrogen ions flow through ATP synthase. Water is formed when oxygen picks up electrons and hydrogen ions. The water is released as waste. 